So here in this table, we can see the table here, but you know, traversing this table is a little complicated, right? As you can see, you can navigate, right? But usually as a user, you do not want to enter the data in a table like this. If you're going to use it, you want to enter in a more friendly manner. So what we need to now look at is what you call a form. So this is a table, right? This is more for the back end people like, you know, who want to actually create the database. So this is a database creator, okay? But the form is a friendlier way to do it, okay? And so now we're gonna to go to home, okay? And we're gonna have this, and we're gonna go again to create, and we're going to go to form right here. And you click on it, it will create the form, okay? What is this form? Okay, this form is basically the same thing as this table. But let, let's save the form, save as. Instead of having a table, we want to call it form. Just like that, and bam. And it's stored under forms and tables. So now, they're not connected to each other. It's a separate, it's a separate entity, but it is a form for this table. So now as you see is whatever is going to be on here, okay, I can now navigate easily here, okay? And I can add values, but it's kind of hard to see this, okay? So what we're going to do from here is, again, we're going to go to Table Computer, go to Create, but here we're going to go to More Forms, and we want to go to Split Form. And you'll see here, now, this is called a split form, and we want to click on the split form here, save, and we will call this form, and you can just call parentheses split, just for your for purposes, all right? And this is our split form. What does this mean? So it means our computer ID here is one, our brand here is IBM, um, and it's going to match this row. So whatever's on this form will now match this row. If I go to the navigation button and I click next record, this form, Alienware, date, whatever, will now match here on this row. Okay? And so on and so forth. The next one will match this row. Well, what's unique about it? Well, what I could do is I can take this right here. Let's say I go to the first one. So I'm going to go back to the first. You know, I can click here, or else I can click here. See how it flips? So the table, you see, will match the form. If I change something on the table, it'll change here, okay? How does this work? Well, we can't really manipulate it here. So, well, let's just try something. Let's take this field right here, computer ID 1. And what I'm going to do is, notice the ID 1 is here, right? Computer ID is here. And all I'm going to do is, I'm just going to bring it down here. Notice this field shifts. This is just a label. So this label is not going to go anywhere. I can just put the label down here. The label doesn't affect anything. But this is the field that corresponds with the row. So if I go down one more, right here, notice the computer ID again shifts here. Before it was here, now it's here. When I click on it and I shift it up, as such, hold on, here, and I shift it up, now it was here, now my computer ID is here. So it's going to go back to the first column. I simply take this and I move it up. And I click here and notice it's all the way back up here. I simply have to take this label and put it back up. The label doesn't affect anything. And then I go ahead and I delete um, these extra fields that are created. And what these are, we're going to go over a, a, a bit later. So this is how you manipulate the fields. Okay? Next. We're in layout view. What we want is form view. In this form view, we can now add and subtract things from the user perspective. Before we added stuff here, right? Now we're just going to add it here and we'll watch. So what I can do is I can go all the way to the end. New. See how it says new? And I'm going to click on brand HP. My data purchase is, you know, whenever. I can just say February 12th. Um, and I can pay, I don't know, let's say I paid $800 for it. Okay. And I click out. Notice it's $800. 
Did I get warranty? Yes. And I can say, well, this is an I-5 process. Okay. Boom. I click out of it. Notice it pops up. See that? So every change that's made here is going to be made here, but it's just friendly. And I can now still navigate. Okay. I can delete information if I want to. But this is an indicator. I can add another computer. So I go all the way to the end. In fact, I can amend. I can say, well, now I really didn't mean to buy this IBM. I meant to buy something else. So here, the first row, the first, I'm sorry, computer ID is really a Dell. And I still paid $1,100 for it. But, uh oh, I didn't really buy it at that date. I bought it, you know, the 15th. Okay. And it has a touchpad and mouse. Just, I'm just throwing, I'm just throwing uh, uh, information. And notice all this is now updated. This is much friendlier to update than this. Okay. I'm going to save the video here and you can look at it from here. Okay.